Hi guys, this is Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone and in this video we will be checking out on how you can get your phone into the recovery mode. So here is the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Hey guys, but before that, you need to ensure that you are on the i9 300 model and not on any other model. Because what we came to know is, in some of the Galaxy S3 smartphone models, the recovery mode procedure is a bit different. So ensure that your model number is 9300. The simplest way with which you can find out the model number of your device is just tap on the menu button and just tap on settings. Navigate to the bottom most part of the screen where you will find an option called avoid device. Once you have selected that, you will get the model number of your device that's GTI9300 which I am highlighting right now. So once it's done, all you should do is ensure that the device is left with minimum battery of 20%. So here it's 77% which means that yes, I can very well turn off the device so that I can enter the device in the recovery mode. So once it's done, you have followed the basic steps and all. Just long press the power button. You'll get notification of phone options when just tap on power off. Oops, sorry. Just tap on the option of power off. Once you have selected it, the device will now be powered off. And once you get the small vibration kind of thing, all to do is just tap on, just press the volume up key, then the menu button, and then at the same point of time, press the power button. So as you can see that the Samsung Galaxy S3 logo has flashed up. And there's a small cute Android logo which you're seeing it right now on your screen. So once it's done, you can see that there are various options which are there in the recovery mode. The first option is being the reboot system now, and then apply update from ADB, apply update from external storage, wipe data or factory reset, wipe cache partition, apply update from cache. So always ensure that once you're getting your device into the recovery mode, you will select the option of wipe data or factory reset in the wipe cache partition so as to ensure that just in case if there are any cache or details present in your device they'll be turned off so once you have selected both of these then you can proceed upon to follow the instructions present in the article so as to update the same but ensure that you are always putting the zip files in your micro sd card because galaxy s3 smartphone uh, can be updated with the custom ROM firmware, but the only condition being is the zip files which are there in, the, in your device should be only placed in the micro SD card and not in the phone memory. So, once assuming that you have done with all the instructions, so that's it. You can now make use of the recovery mode for installing the custom ROM firmware and etc. So that's it from us. Stay tuned for more updates.